Welcome back. We're going to add some CAD files to this project to populate for our connector here and for our DC to DC converter here, just so that we have a more complete looking product. So just to remind you, this is what the connector looks like. And to get your hands on CAD models for these things, you often have to approach the manufacturer's website. You can often download it from the manufacturer. Here I can download it direct from the distributor. Sometimes the distributors have a, a CAD file for you, but other times you might have to go to say Molex CAD downloads and search for it from within their own catalog. So if I were to, I'll just agree to that, agree to those willy nilly, uh, take the manufacturer part number and I guess we'll just use this search tool here. There's the part, there's a picture of it. And if we want some CAD, I guess we can go down to 3D models and download the 3D model from here. This looks promising. If I hit, I agree. Uh, then we can download a step file. Perfect. So that's two vectors for getting your CADs. You can download it from the distributor. You can download it from the manufacturer, or if you're really desperate, you can make it in Creo or your favorite 3D modeling software. Anyway, I've already got them in another project. So I've got my, uh, my micro fit uh, connector and the span DC to DC converter. So I'll just copy those into my project uh, directory here. And I'll just make a, a directory called CAD to put them in, just to keep things a bit organized. There are our two files. Now from within PCB new, we can select our part, hit E for edit. Sorry, I should have shown you that. We can go to properties or hit E for properties. And up the top here, we can go to 3D settings and add a CAD file. So that was with the uh, little folder icon here. Oh boy, now we have to find it within our directories. Here we go. Which one are we doing? We're doing the span. So there's our model for the span O2. You can hit OK for that. And it's, oh uh, yeah, it doesn't look great, but we can work with this. We just need to find the direction we want to rotate it. Rotate it negative 90 degrees. Looks like we need 180 in the Z, I think. No, that was fine. Whoops. Just go back into that. We need to do some offsetting. You can offset along the X. I like to use the pins to line it up. It doesn't have to be perfect. It just needs to be convincing enough, you know? Looks like I could do some fractional millimeters there, but otherwise that's okay. And just get that to kiss the board. Perfect. After hitting OK, we can go back to our 3D view, and there we have it. A custom CAD part on our PCB. And I'll just do the same with the microfit. So here there's already a CAD file included. Uh, I guess it's like an empty placeholder or something. Cause if I, if I turn the preview off for that, nothing happens. But anyway, I'll do the same process with the micro fit. If I set this a little bit more, you'll see these, these polarizing pins need to go into these cutouts in the board. That's what I was looking for. All right, that looks better. I think we are probably up to generating some Gerbers.